Barrett have once again teamed up with Iceland to create a brand new range, or at least adding to the range of Barrett ice cream lollies. This is the third one that I'm reviewing. I don't know what order I'm putting these videos up in, but the third one that I'm having. And it's the milk bottles one. Hype levels are through the roof. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name's MJ, and yes, um, uh, oh I should say actually, um, Iceland did give me some vouchers to buy these. Now they didn't give me enough vouchers to, to buy all of them, so I bought half of them and they sort of gave me vouchers for the rest. Um, so, hashtag honesty or something, it's, it's not like, yeah, like we didn't pay, sort of, I paid for half, I sort of paid, I don't know, whatever you think. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is based on Barrett milk bottles, right? Now... The reason I say hype, hype levels are through the roof is because these, specifically the Barrett milk bottles, pretty much my favourite sweet. They're made with like 17% sweetened condensed milk. So they have this incredible, intense, uh, beautiful milky flavour that I really hope is is what these taste. I mean, if, if these taste like the candy... We're going to be looking at some big scores. Let me let me tell you that much. Right, let's crack it open. So you get six in this one. Didn't actually catch how much these were. I think they're about two pounds ten each. But I didn't actually keep the receipt. Uh, straight away, I'm feeling the way it feels in the packet is very similar to those uh, lollies that you would get from the ice cream van. The sort of oh, in fact, yeah, the ice cream van do are like a milky lolly, don't they? You're they just thinking of milk lollies. No, but no, I'm sure the ice cream van do like similar ones to these. I think we're just thinking of a milk lolly. What do you mean? Yeah, you know, the milk. What walls? Yeah. No, the class that's a perfect cylinder. <coughs> this has got lines flat, and it's got lines for it. All right. Chill out. Right. I'm not getting much smell of it, not necessarily expecting to though. Let's give it a go. <sighs> Nervous. So first of all the texture is very nice. And I do have a bit of an issue with these. Every single one of the Barrett Ice Lollies so far has done an excellent job at capturing the flavour of the sweet. However these, these are described on the packaging as vanilla flavour ice cream lollies. I need to find the ingredients. I can't see vanilla in the ingredients but in any case they do taste of vanilla. Like it's definitely got vanilla flavouring in. And um, These, these aren't vanilla flavour. Right. Thing is, right guys, I really like vanilla. I like vanilla flavour ice creams. So this product is very nice. I like the texture, it's the exact texture I was hoping it's going to be. It's got like, is it xanthan gum? Did I read, or lo lotus bean? Locust bean gum. It's got locust bean gum in, which gives it, well, I'm making assumptions here, but I'm guessing that's what gives it the texture. Um, the slightly chewy, nice ice creamy nature. And it is nice. It is quite milky, but it's probably primarily vanillary. It's light vanilla, but it's there. Um, but in isolation, this is a very nice product. Really, really tasty. And I'm going to really enjoy eating them. However, they don't taste like Barrett milk bottles, um, sort of, at all, really. This is the first disappointment in the range, I think, because, yeah, yeah, yeah like I say, this, this is my favourite sweet. This is my favourite sweet, like, ever, basically. They are a masterpiece in my opinion because they have a unique, they don't taste like normal milk balls. They have this uniquely intense and sweet flavour which I, like I say, I assume it comes from the 
condensed milk. Um, it's almost like a, an intense, almost mature, sweet, milky flavour. Um, and this doesn't have that. Not at all. So, if I was just, if it wasn't branded the way it is, I'd probably give it four stars. It's a good product, but it's trying to be something that it doesn't taste like. Um, and considering the reputation of the rest of the range, that's disappointing. So I would give it three stars. It was still nice, but it's not the one. Thanks for watching. Have you tried them? I'd be interested to hear. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh, hi, sweet pea.